Next presenter, ladies and gentlemen, comes, hails from Lithuania. Her, her name is Lithuania in the house, Lithuanians. Please a warm welcome to Yona of First Pick. I know her personally for many years, so I'm super biased. So I welcome <laughs> your very close eyes, observing what they've achieved. They're a fresher fund, but I'm looking forward to hearing more about this. Yona, let's have a applause. Let's do this. I can Uno. use this. That's the clicker. I've tested Hi. this myself. Okay, let's do this. So, I'm Joanne. That's what Gleb told. I'm here to deliver, sorry, I think a little bit cringe pitch, so, because I think a lot of... We pitches, love disclaimers. Yes, mm -hmm. because most of the pitches are cringe, but uh, I need to learn. So, but also I'm going to tell you a little bit about First Pick, which is a new fund from the Baltics, and I will tell why your picture should be here. Because there is a problem, and you know what's the problem, because there is very little or no fast pre-seed money in the market, and what's happening? Infant startups are dying constantly, constantly, all the time in my eyes. So what we did, we created First Pick. We did that last year, and this is the first fast VC fund that you will see. So this is a 20 million fund focusing on the tech founders of the Baltics, and we are here because we were most of the time chosen to be the first investor of majority of early stage startups. And this is coming from MBA. Actually, first pick is when the league is selecting the super young, talented players to become the superstars of the league and on the global scale. So this is us. And most important, of course, is the team. So this is first pick. We are laughing that it looks like United Colors of Benetton. It's not. No one was sponsoring it. And even though it's a new fund, we actually have been doing this for a long time. And we have already, as a team, on a separate note, made 63 investments with the value of almost half a billion euros for our startups. And you see the rest. We don't need to brag. You know it for yourself. And these Absolutely. logos, it's something that we invested before any other investor, whereas others later joined. And we did that because we were looking at the founders and not something else. Because it's so difficult to judge the market, because you'll pivot five times, or anything on your Excel, because it's all assumptions. And that's why our growth of the fund looks like this. You know this slide, all of you add this to your pitches. So we focus on the Baltics. We are actually generalists because I think it's very difficult to have one vertical in the Baltics. But then we really love fintech marketplaces. We invest in ad tech. We also do even some hardware, which is quite rare. And this is what we'll invest first. And this is 250 to half a million will be a follow-on for you to actually um, to have a longer runway. We really value your time, so we will be getting very fast to you, and we'll have investment committees weekly to make sure that you know what to expect from us. We have made 14 investments this year, and the fastest term sheet came in two hours. So obviously, we are in the top right corner where the best funds are. <laughs> <laughs> We'll introduce you to these funds. We'll give you access to information when you need it, not when we want to push it on you, and we'll give you some data to benchmark yourself. So your picture should be here. We're waiting for you. Call me, actually, or you can scan whatever the QR codes. So call you, maybe? Yeah, call me, maybe. <laughs> and of applause for you, and this is delightful. I appreciate it. Let's do it. Should I do this? That's, it's yeah. super lovely. Uh, listen, I, I love the, the, the irony here, the playfulness. You're delightful. Now we, Full disclosure, uh, first pick is a client of mine, so I have to watch what I say, otherwise I don't get any return business. Yeah. Right? So there's a little bit of, so you know... it's only Irio who will be asking. Irio, Irio can be guy. very mean and, uh, you know, very blunt. I would be very leashed and pleasant. <laughs> I liked everything. Did you? No, I'm lying. Oh, of course. No, you no. told me she was going to be really difficult and uh, super competitive and all this other stuff. Yeah, she's horrible, man. Okay. Oh, I'm, uh, no, right. no, no, no. It's, it's just I'm telling this for you. <laughs> I think it's She your seems notes. so much better than you described. <laughs> I don't know. It. She's throwing me under the bus. So we agreed on all this. Yeah. Um, so what I know about you, you, you're obviously super competitive. Like you can run like a marathon below three hours or something. Like super fast. Well below three hours. I'm sorry? Well below three hours. Well below three hours. <laughs> we see, we'll see what I'm saying. Competitive. Uh, and you guys made 63 investments, if I got this right. Yeah. Knowing what your history, how much of that is part of first pick? And that's, how much of that is the prior? That's the 14 investments that we did this year. I mm -hmm. skipped it very fast because I saw I was running out of time. Mm. We did 14 investments. So when you were raising money from LPs for this new fund, um, given your history, and I'm, I'm being as polite as I can without naming names, uh, Attribution, you know, whose portfolio is that? It's personal's portfolio. 
Because it's people managing funds. It's always that. I see. It's the decisions is made not by the institution. It's made by people, right? I'm trying to be as delicate as I can, given <laughs> that both the parties involved are my clients. So, it's a, so what you're asking is how much of this is from another fund. Is that what you're asking? I said words, and you have better words, and I'm sure you're going to figure out things and ask them. So, startup wise guys, how, how, does, <laughs> how does I knew it's coming. How does that? How does that work? No, I mean, obviously, just like you said, uh, investments are made by humans. Yeah. You know, it's not the uh, OUS, INC, whatever, exactly. who makes them. Uh, you gotta talk about your experience. So, I assume when you said sixty some startups, a lot of that you worked uh, at that time with Start startups. Wise. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Around 50 of that. Uh, I think a fair question is, well, what happened? You know, I mean, we know about creative destruction. We know how good <laughs> companies can come from, not bad, but just bigger companies or something. Yeah. How did your creative destruction story work? What, what made you decide that, hey, you know, I don't want to do Startup Wise Guys, I want to do my own thing? I really have zero connections elsewhere besides Baltics for startups. Mm. We have a lot on the investor level, this is what we are working on, but the best deals, that the logos we showed, they came through personal connections. And I said, I really want to stick to the Baltics only. This is where I can find the best breed, and especially in early stage. It's impossible to find early stage when you're not physically there. Mm -hmm. So this is what was really defining. Um, there's a question here from the audience, I will engage. All right, so whoever is this asking, did I hear correctly, you only invest in young founders? So you discount experience? <laughs> no, I think the average age is like 38 or something. of the 38? Portfolio. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, my. They are maturing quickly. Uh, that's good. Yeah. Um, so, so you see, you're still young. I'm not. <laughs> You are, you are much more youthful. You are the average, but yeah. You're, you're getting there. Yeah. You're getting well there. Well seasoned. You're well seasoned, very mature. Ladies and gentlemen, keep asking the questions. I would, All right. I would invest. Uh, there's some nice words said. Great work, congrats. How, how uh, are she oh, doing on the, like the Let me quickly check in on the scores here, one Since moment. As you told me, she's obsessed with performance. What, um... Well, I know you are too. I, I know it's very important for you. Did you run out of questions? Uh, one moment, one moment. So we have an 8.4 average score for Yona. That's yeah, it's uh, very close to the runner-up. You're doing really well. Yeah. Uh, right. All right, so, so quick question. Uh, if I'm doing my math right, you have a 15 million fund? 20. 20 million fund, 20. right? Uh, half of that for follow-ons? A little bit more, 60%, actually. Okay. So really, you're investing 10 less, actually, because of management fees. Yeah. Right? So you're investing like 8 million or so, you're putting that into how many startups? Around 50 startups, 100k tickets, and then we do the follow-ons pretty soon. So it's m mainly meant to extend the runway and keep them running instead of let's see if anyone else invests and then we invest. Okay. So the 500k number is probably an exception. Otherwise, you'd be out in like... We have already invested 400k in one company. Okay. Uh, yeah, because you know, seven million will only divide so many ways yeah. into 500. Somebody's coming that you have a very high investment pace, as you've been deploying capital very yes. rapidly. Do you have any regrets? Hmm? Do you have any regrets? This going is too quoting. fast sometimes, maybe making a mistake. Oh, we'll see about that. But we have very intense investment committees, so it's always interesting there. Oh, yeah? So, but we would never make a decision and regret it, I think, a week later. So let's, no let's give it a little bit of time. I think next year, when I'm here, you can really roast me on some investments. I see. Well, I think it's already enough that you hired him, but uh, <laughs> that's... That's true. What are the key things you're looking for in a founder? This is one of those classic questions oh, VCs get. the classics. The yes. classic. I got to ask. Audience wants to know. Everyone invests in founders, yes. But uh, I like when founders challenge us. I don't like when they nod all the time because we don't really know everything. So this is one thing I would say that they have to be quite picky on us as well. Quite hard on you. Yeah. I see. So what's the, uh, the VC that you absolutely hate working with? What? What, what is the VC you absolutely hate working with? Ah. That. I, I don't know that what what VC. Uh, the, the word VC, you know, it's... Um, <laughs> the word VC. Venture capitalist. capitalist. 
Yeah, um, there is a, just, I wouldn't name names, but there is, you know, this uh, very clear shirt, pants. There's vests, shirts and pants. Bald, Uniform. usually five of them. So, I, I those see, puns. I see. Very descriptive, ladies and gentlemen, and very honest. <laughs> we can put together the puzzle ourselves. Very it's good. a detective like story, pitch confidential. Ladies and gentlemen, Yona has been a very honest place out of applause. Let's do yeah. that. <laughs> Let's do this. Yona, thank you very much.